Syracuse has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Wake Forest offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And down he goes at the 36. Fires out to his wideout. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. He might have a chance. Around five yards there on the option keep. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Caught with room to work. He's tackled at the 32. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. made the 34 yard line the defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage second down at 12 ball on the 34 here's the throw i don't think he got anything on that the man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Passes in and it's picked out of the sky. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. their own 21-yard line. It's first down. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. That brings up second and 13. to the outside of the field. That's a great tackle at the 49. from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz, and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards in a first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. He'll keep it on the ground again. Makes it to the 11. the 
And they make the stop right around the four yard line. Makes a move and he's in for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11 play, 78 yard drive. And the result, seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Syracuse in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He's gobbled up in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Got an opening. That's a game of seven. taken down at the 34. Good possession there for the defense. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And down he goes at the 29. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Syracuse is up by a touchdown. like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Syracuse looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. And he's immediately tackled. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary 
secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove yeah, it on the field. Forget about talking track. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. They'll take it inside, but the defense is ready. That makes it second and ten. Down he goes, around the 31-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 20. Still on his feet. Dives, and he's down. And that'll put an end to the first quarter of action. 14-0, Orange. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back. Black five, back it up. There's some daylight. Number 10, Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Go. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Syracuse up seven points. He airs it out. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Gets out to around the 38. Gets it out to about the 47 yard line. They'll bring him down at the 36 yard line. sink right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. This is the eighth play of this drive. Syracuse is up seven. He's got an opening. Gets out to around the six. He 
makes the PAT. A nine play, 74 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 21 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Fred, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's a game of 16 on the play. First down. Stumbles like these can Still kill your down. offensive progress. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Go four! Go! Setting up play action. Once and all, going deep. He gets another, and this is a big one. Inside the 30, and he will score. Tax on the extra point. Wake Forest ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Syracuse is up a score. He's brought down in the open field. Just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And a quick throw. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. his way to about the 32. Syracuse is up by a touchdown. That was a laser across the middle. Tackle at the 19. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. 
That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. And it's caught, and he hits that quickly. Syracuse is going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Slings it quickly to his hat back again. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Second down and goal. Ball on the three. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. And he's tackled at the one-yard line. That makes us third and goal. Shows some moves and he's in. the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Demon Deacons on this quarterback. Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. That's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the have running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterbacks. That's for one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. Brought down at about the 31. That's a game of six on the ground. Couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. And this one is a beauty. <laughs> Tackle at the 25-yard line. Syracuse done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, Arden. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So it's still a lot of football to be played. And they make the stop at the 43. hands. Number 81 was the intended receiver of the play. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Let's go! Let's go! Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Stops the clock with his fight. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we go Mike to 48 right now. Let's go. Red hot. Pressure coming. Deep ball laying it out there. Touchdown, Orange. And 
he hits the PAT. A five play 76 yard drive and the result seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Let's it fly. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Complete. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. Red, two, yellow, three. He goes out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up second, second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Hey, check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. Dog four. Red seven, red seven. Watch Select. the motion, watch the motion. Tipped away. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. He heaves it deep. The junior makes the catch. Touchdown, Deacons. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. It really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. Syracuse is in front by 14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Syracuse's lead at halftime is two possessions. It appears that this team is in control. But sometimes you get that uneasy feeling as a favorite who has a lead at the half when you know, you know in your gut that this <laughs> lead ought to be bigger. Hey, it definitely should be bigger, but at the same time, it's not. So should be don't matter in sports. And you got 30 minutes to, to prove it. You got 30 minutes to go out and earn it. And it, it just feels like they've kind of weathered the storm. It, it feels like, yeah, you got out to a big lead, but it feels like that underdog, that Cinderella is just hanging around, hanging around, and they're just waiting for that opportunity where they can make a few more plays, get the belief level up. There might be something special in store. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Inside give. And he's taken down right around the 36 yard line. Here's an opening. He's at midfield. He's taken down around the 41 yard line.
Fakes the handoff. Defense coming. He airs it out. And he's got it. Touchdown, Syracuse. He has three scoring tosses in the game now. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A short three play, 75 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. up for the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Leaping interception by the linebacker. That's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 50. That makes it first and 10. Check Mike 11. Check Mike 11. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. Around the 16 yard line. That makes it 37. Hey, 
Slings it. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's a gain of 11. This is the ninth play of this drive. Makes it first and goal. Here they come. He gets sacked on the play. That brings him second and goal. From the 11-yard line, it's second down. yet. He kept it himself and created the whole thing with his feet. Boy, was that fun to watch or what? And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wake Forest coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Does the intended receiver run away? Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we don't like the 48 right now. Let's go. Ready. Red 18. Manhattan. Red 18. Manhattan. Going deep. That close to being intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Goes over the middle, intercepted. Tackle made at the 32. Brad, this week these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. out here tackle at the 17 with the reception number nine brings him down at the 17 yard line that makes it first and ten kill 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 black five blue four blue nice run and he's brought down solid five yard pickup there on the halfback option that brings him second and five come on that's a great tackle at the 14 yard line. From the 14 yard line, third down. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. He makes the PAT. A nice five-play, 32-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And they can forget about returning this one. Wake Forest is a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed, They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. Quick 
throw. He's knocked out of bounds. Now the 36 yard line. Syracuse is up seven. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Sure, that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. You know, when this defense went over the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face, he's got to challenge them, he's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's, it's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at the 31. And that'll bring this third quarter to a close. Syracuse lead is two touchdowns. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Black five, black five. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for Danny Bulldogs. First down. Check Mike 11. Check Mike 11. He's into the open field. Makes it to the 47. Makes the tackle. That's a deal of 10 on the play. That brings up second and one. He fights forward to around midfield. Gain of three on the play. First down. Check Mike 11, check Mike 11. Easy. Decent run here, right side. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He makes his way to about the 28. Call it a game of 16 yards. That makes it first and ten. Check, check back, 11, check back, 11. The handbag picks up a yard. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine.
We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 27 yard line. Red two. Orange three. Orange three. Nice run up the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 13. That's a team. First down. Check back 11. Check back 11. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. Gets to about the five yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Got an opening. Touchdown, Deacons. That option was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over in our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And he just gets rid of it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. Uh, fooled no one there, Brad. goes downtown. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Boy, this quarterback just continues to struggle. That was a pivotal down. On third down, they're trying to find a way to get a first down. Another incompletion, and now it's fourth down. Booming kick. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. This senior quarterback's having a great game, Kirk. Well, I think right now you can almost look at him, and it's, it's effortless. You know, he does a good job using his experience to be able to read the defense, and then he's getting rid of the football. The most important thing in, in, in playing quarterback is, number one, to be able to read the defense, be able to process that information, and then throw the ball with accuracy. That's what he's doing. You know, and I also think he's showing that he's a lot more athletic than people want to give him credit. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over two minutes in the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings in second and five. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. Fires to his receiver, first down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 26. That's a gain of 27 on the play. That makes it first and 10.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Quick throw to the tight end, and he's taken down around the 21 yard line. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. That's a game of 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Just over a minute left. Kill, kill, kill! And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. Wake Forest will take their first time out of the half. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. And this is the ball game right here. Stepping up. Jake's off attack. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. And he's level at the nine-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the nine. Runs outside for a nice game. Give it to him again, and he's going to lose yardage. Demon Deacons on this have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive, but if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing, but they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure.